When you visit stalls, be sure to allow yourself plenty of time because everything you see is going to stop you in your tracks. But when you roll up on this baby, take an extra moment or two because it's different and different than anything else you'll see in the collection. A world of wonder, where fantastical music machines provide the soundtrack for a tantalizing stroll through history. Vintage automobiles and memorabilia stimulate the senses around every chromed curve and corner. This is Inside Stalls. Of all of Ed Roth's wild and wacky creations, his dragster-inspired, bubble-canopied, one-eyed Cyclops Mysterion just might top the list. It did for a young man named Jeff Jones, who was captivated by the car the first time he saw it. My obsession with that car began in the very beginning when uh, Ed Roth was building his fantastic plastic cars. I was 13 or 14 years old, and Rod and Custom had just come out with a couple of uh, teaser articles on the building of the car with Ed Roth all covered in plaster and being the crazy guy he always is, and I was just hooked. Tom Wolfe described Roth as the Salvador Dali of Hot Rod, and in many ways, that's what Roth was, an artist that happened to use the automobile as his canvas. Roth completed the Mysterion in 1963. He eventually rented the car to show promoter Bob Larrabee. During its travels to various events around the country, Larrabee eventually discovered a crack in the frame. Roth asked for the car back, minus the front and rear axles, and expected payment for the damage. He never got the car, nor the payment, and the whereabouts of the Mysterion became a mystery. I fell in love with the car. Uh... When it disappeared two or three years later, I was heartbroken. As the story goes, the Mysterion changed hands a couple of times before it was eventually scrapped and sold off in parts. The car no longer existed, but Jeff Jones's dreams did. From the early 60s till uh, the rest of my life, I was uh, just driven to uh, see if I could reproduce that car. Jones would have to start from scratch. He created a 1 8 inch scale model that he used to painstakingly duplicate the Mysterion's dimensions. He researched and recreated Ross building methods right down to the plaster molds and exact fiberglass used on the original. And then about 2013, I said, okay, let's do the real thing. And I just took off and I got obsessed with uh, doing the thing as, as close to uh, perfect as possible with the meager information that was available on this uh, car because it didn't exist very long. The original Mysterion was equipped with a pair of 1950 Oldsmobile V8s. Those were eventually swapped out for a pair of Thunderbird 350s. And while the original frame was made of steel, it wasn't thick enough to withstand the weight of both motors and eventually the frame cracked. So in Jones' recreation, he once again replaced both motors, but only one is operational. The other happens to be hollow. Obsession may not fully describe what was required to pull off Jones' tribute to Roth. Right down to every hair of the fur-lined interior, it's every bit the work of art Roth intended. The longer you look at the car, the more you see, and the more fascinating the creation and the story becomes. It was a labor of love, it was a bucket list thing, and uh, I'm so happy now that it's at stalls where a lot of people can see it. The, the bucket list thing was building the car, once I built it, uh, I'm, I'm glad that it got to go to stalls where, where many, many people can enjoy what Ed Roth did. Roth's creations and his rat fink character endure to this day because they defined an era of hot rotting excess, free thinking, and counterculture. Weird, odd, and different in all the right ways, the Mysterian remains a showstopper to this day.